Authentic Experts with Kara James, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet. Hear their stories and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Authentic Experts with Kara James is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Kara. Hello, everyone. Kara James here. Welcome to the Authentic Experts podcast. I'm super excited to interview my guest today, Linda Morrison from Australia. And Linda, we'd love to have you introduce yourself, please. Thank you, Kara, for having me. And thank you, everyone, for listening. My uh, name is Linda Morrison, and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm the number one best-selling author of multiple books, and we've also produced many for our clients as well. And I'm the creator and director of Ageless Body and Ageless Business, where we really look after women who are over 40, really wanting to get real results from their lives, moving forward to that, that stage of their lives. It often starts with their body transformations, and then it ends up being a lot of life transitioning as well. So that, that of course, includes their businesses and their professional life and their, their strategies and structures around their contribution moving forward because I find obviously their needs are very different to someone who's 20. So, yeah, we've recreated that and been online with that for 12 years now. Great. Oh, my goodness, so much. Yeah, and you had said that you have two different, uh, you started with two different, uh, you've been an entrepreneur your whole life and with two different businesses. So tell us. I have. That. Uh, you know, many entrepreneurs might be able to relate. I'm probably unemployable now that I've ran my own show for so long, <laughs> but um, oh, no. have many skill sets and uh, started putting myself through psychology and sociology and human movement at university and 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 running some um, pretty amazing consultancy businesses in and around lovely, you know, CEOs of companies and we'd look after their their health and well-being and that was back in the day 30 years ago back in the day that often a lot of these uh, structures uh fell under the banner of um of uh the the company's pocket basically mm -hmm. so we had lots and lots of wonderful things there and then I've owned chiropractic offices and very successful wow. personal training and rehabilitation um businesses for for people and then of course I um was divorcing um, my then husband and father of my two children who came to us very quickly in uh, 20 months in uh, my late 20s and I found myself to have to be the breadwinner at home and major caregiver of the, the, these kids that were mostly with me. And um, so I brought all my business online with very, very little technical knowledge. I always handballed that type of thing to somebody else who was quicker um, so my learning curve was quite um, strong. And of course, in those days, 12 years ago online, there was less resources than there are now. Of course. Yeah. And, and we had to sort of uh, patch it all together, really, to create this online business. So Ageless Body, Women's Body Transformations Over 40 was born. And really, it's it's a mindset transformation, you know, for, for these beautiful women. And uh, she became global straight away, and we, we've had massive success and many transformations around the world, which has then um, gone on to retreats and uh, also then um, a lot of <laughs> health professionals or people who look after people's well-being, from anyone from Reiki specialists to psychologists to doctors to personal trainers have come to me to help. Uh, build their businesses online in these last eight years. So that's been a genuine honor as well. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even, <laughs> amazing. Holy cow. What a powerful woman you are. And speaking of which, I believe your book is called that, isn't it? One of your yeah, books or the empowered yes. woman. Yeah. Yeah, the empowered woman's way, and she she was a great uh, project that we'll do that we'll we'll do another edition on with with new people coming forward. But uh, we usually do that like to do that around National Women's Day. One of my um, sort of great loves, I have a daughter and a son, um, is really, you know, uh, allow or helping people. I work with men too, but I really enjoy watching women thrive. I think they have a lot on their plate. At certain times of their lives and um they are no slouches i find <laughs> and they yeah, seem yeah. to take on so very much that 
we need to find a way and we're just learning to, you know, it's not been that long since women, they've always worked, but they, it's not been that long since we've uh, forged these careers and we still don't really know how to do it all uh, smoothly, you know, wow. the home, the family, the work. Exactly. It's very important because we don't want our health to suffer. Exactly. Mm. This, yes, what you were saying is just, I, yeah, <laughs> the ultimate truth. And same, I've been through it. Now your resume is a little <laughs> a bit better than mine. But, uh, you know, as far as what you've accomplished and been through and the single mom and trying to, you know, figure it out online, like you said, the resources were not, you know, probably no. even, yeah, half of what they are now or less. And the best but. thing that I did was go out and find a very, um, a very good coach who was able to align with me and get me from A to B as, as quickly as possible. And th this is why I really, well, one of the reasons I really believe in, in coaching, we're not meant to do these things alone. We are not meant to struggle. Um, and there's always someone who's done it before you. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as you really get that slick system and then, of course, do do your own work, uh, you, you'll you'll make those dreams come true as they say as cliched as it that sounds no oh my gosh well you have done it yourself right I mean they do come true and look at what you've done you must wake up every day and be just so proud of of what you've you know put together and raising two children and oh my goodness yeah that's it and I've empty nested they left me in um March oh. of this year and I oh. had a had a big birthday and then they left one to London, one to Adelaide. They didn't move up the road. They've literally left. So, oh, so wow. while, while <laughs> so whilst, which is all wonderful and they're, they're doing very well and they communicate fairly well right. with me when they're not too busy living right. their lives. But that's been, um, I thought the other stuff was hard, but that's been the hardest thing so far. <laughs> I can absolutely, I can absolutely relate. I'm just you talking about that is is the same. Two of my kids, I'm an empty nester now, and two have left and moved to the other side of the country. And they were, I hate to say it, you know, just we were so tight, almost best friends, and uh, it's tough. It's you know, mm, of course, it's yeah, you know, you don't want it to be that way. Of course, go please. We're glad you're happy. You know, go fly. But those yeah. mornings when I go to the farmers oh, yeah. market alone, and you know. Oh I know it's very different. It's it, you know, yeah, it's sort of someone's taken yeah. away your favorite job of all time, and yeah, absolutely, and, um, that is. And, yeah, that and is where's it. the twenty years gone? That's the other. That's the other shock to the system. Yeah, exactly. The next twenty may be just you know even quicker than these last that's twenty. Right. It does seem to go that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. And then yeah, and then with everything that comes with that. So yes, life is just always a journey, and you seem like you are enjoying it. Um, and that's that's wonderful. Yes, yeah. So your and your retreats you can touch on your mm. retreats, but boy, yeah. do they look amazing. <laughs> they are, they are, they are terrific. We really look after our ladies that come along on retreat, and and often they'll come for space, you know, from their own lives to move away to transition into uh, perhaps a different mindset, thought pattern, habit, all of those sorts of things. And I, I truly believe. That that transformation can can be quite um, uh, fast, faster and more intense when you can concentrate on yourself, as opposed to trying to slot it into the other things that you do in your normal uh, day. Absolutely. So they've been a pleasure. We have our own chefs, and we we um, we have certain amounts of exercise and things like that. So a certain amount of you know martial arts training and and some uh, yoga, meditation, um, retro aerobics, which they always enjoy. You know, old school aerobics, oh. um, as well as some downtime, rest time, and you know some mindset sessions, and and just a a lot of uh, just giving the women space, basically from their. Uh, go get lives. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This sounds like heaven. I think you lost me. I was like a deer in headlights. Wait, life slows down when? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, that's yeah. exactly right. We find that, yeah, once the, the, when the work is to arrive and once they've arrived, they are, they do find it difficult to to slow down so we give them lots of strategy around uh helping them to do that and of course the environments are usually really luxe beautiful you know linen and areas and areas mm. to to sit and rest or have a little fire pit or a you know a time out or 
beach walks, depending on where we are. But COVID actually slowed us down. We weren't allowed to travel for mm-hmm. almost two years here in Melbourne. It was, it's was it been very, very locked down. And, of course, um, it took a little while for people to um, uh, reset on their nervousness around travel yeah. and things like that. So we're back into uh, the swing now and we hope Great. to come bring bring them overseas again. I've been to, been to Bali and Cyprus and we we hope to go to Mexico in the next 12 to 18 months, which will just be wonderful. Oh, absolutely. And I'm glad you're back, you know, getting back on, tra- on track and back to Thank normal. You. It's, you know, that's a whole mindset thing in and of itself, right, with everybody and just, yes. um, yeah, boy, very challenging. It's been a very now. stressful time for people. Absolutely. Very stressful time. I think I find that I do more work in communication now than ever before because people are, um, I call it, I'm not sure. Uh, when you were growing up, but when we were growing up at the end of the night on television, it just went to a test pattern. And then, then yeah. the TV just went like in this gray, like the yeah, TV, yeah. like, yeah, that's when you knew you were probably meant to be in bed or, should, <laughs> okay. or, or meant to be in bed. I used to sneak up and keep watching TV after my parents went to bed. When I was new. <laughs> that's so funny. Always yes, had I, energy. I, you know, those days. <laughs> and yeah. that's how I describe people. Um, many people at the moment is that there, there's different pressures on the world's changing. It's changing at a pace that feels often to many a little bit out of control. And that's why, um, you know, I've, I've slow, slowed down the communication just to allow some space for that. And I've also helped myself along with that too, because it has been quite um, a changing time for people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, and especially, I know you, it was a lot longer in Australia that it was, you guys were really secluded and in lockdown and that's Uh right. You know, yeah, that's right. A lot of rules. There was a lot of rules. (laughs) Yeah, Probably still is. But yeah, yeah. Do you still have to wear a ma- do you still have to wear a mask out or? Uh, some people cho- choose to. Yeah. Some okay. people choose right. to in in medical areas. I think oh, they sure. still are everywhere. Yeah. Um, and uh, and of course, we here in Melbourne had nine pm curfews. We could not drive further than five kilometers, which I think is about three miles something for you guys. Oh, okay. wow. Um, we could only go out of the house to exercise for one hour a day. And we could only, you know, visit pharmacies or or supermarkets for staples. Uh, otherwise, have you know them uh, delivered, and and if, and that was about it. So, uh, oh. you could travel beyond five k's to do a care visit in case you had elderly grandparents or you know things like that, oh. or a partner who you didn't live with. So, it was quite a stressful time. Yes. for everyone <laughs> and um so my backyard gym got r- a real workout from my kids um but it was a uh, quite quite challenging because everyone uh and they were mandated as well so there was people knocking on your door if they thought you were having a party or um yeah 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 it was <sighs> it was it was fairly full on and and to the point where they we're mandating vaccines, basically, and you know, we'll give you rights back to move about if you follow our instructions mm. of what you have to do. So, very, very stressful time. Yeah, for sure. And when did this end? So, I know you said recently. Uh, like, was that if that, that strict? We almost had two years of it, of a, oh, of a stretch oh of it, and and with with different businesses being allowed to open at different times. So, things like hairdressers, um, chiropractic offices, those sorts of things sure. were quite limited in the way that they could work or not work. And quite often the announcements were made on a Sunday to open on a Monday. So for small business, it was very, very difficult because oh, as we know, bo- sure. bookings take a while. You can't just, you know, miraculously have the people in the front door. And right. then, um, and then of course, there was, you, you know, someone in the house got this you know, COVID, then you couldn't go out. And so, so it was very, um, it was the, they, they say that Melbourne had the worst in the world. And, and um, I would have to agree having a global business online where I would talk to people everywhere Mm -hmm. and their, their mandated lockdowns weren't near as um, severe as long or as um, strict as ours seem to be. And, um, 
That's so, the first time I've, I've heard it. I knew Australia mm, was, you know, that you were in lockdown, but I did not realize the extent yeah. of it. Yeah. Wow. So it, it really decimated and devastated a lot of people. Um, Absolutely. So, well, like you know, the, the effects was, on the small businesses, where is this money coming from? How are they surviving amazing. for yeah. two years? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was sort of on and off, depending on the, the level of, of inoculation that you chose to have, it was on and off for, for many, but, um, but yeah, I had my children cutting my hair and oh. all this business out in the backyard <laughs> and all sorts of different things that oh, we yeah. found ourselves having to do. And um, and yeah, it's it's a it's been a a changed world. Unfortunately, um, mental illness is up, suicide, mm-hmm. um, the domestic violence is all was all up right you know mm-hmm. yeah you know um i i say i guess subsequent divorce and things like that as well very uh very unfortunate time uh on those levels and you know i understand we yeah. understand what they what the people in charge were trying to do you know the government were trying to keep us safe etc but it there has been some fallout yeah for sure Quite significant Almost like what is the is it worth the risk of you know the is it that's just no, now it. and now we yeah. see I mean here it's it's definitely um you know calm down tame down there aren't as many hospitalizations of course and seems to get it yes and I'm, I'm not trying to undermine it because we have actually lost friends and family members from it but yes, yes, um, it, yes. it does seem to have gotten a little bit you know obviously yeah under control yeah. and we've it's had so the family members get it and uh, that type yeah. of yeah yeah. So it really depends and it depends on your underlying issues. But um boy, yeah, how things have changed. That's it. And we're back to yeah, we're back to that. Um, you know, what what we want anyway, and that is that people um make some really great choices around their health. They keep themselves as strong as possible mm-hmm. inside and out, mm-hmm. all of those sorts of things. So that discussion um never changes. In fact, in many ways, and as I found with the isolation, um that I, I um, experienced is that that's even more important. So that that work you do on yourself is even more important and um, not numbing yourself all the time with things like Netflix but developing your mind so that it can help yeah. you and your lives and your family's lives and those sorts yeah. of things. It's, it's a discipline. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I'm just mm-hmm. getting, you know, the, sitting here with you now and talking about all of this and how it all aligns with with, with everything that's going on and just you're what a perfect, you know, um, spot that you're in, how helpful that you are to others as far as mind and body, right? We're nothing without our health. I was just talking about yeah. that and, you know, things we're thankful for and talking about Thanksgiving and of course, you know, family and friends. Yes, yes, yes. But I mean, number one is health. If you don't have that where you're not. That's right. Yeah. You know, yeah anything it's anything with on- family or friends or, yeah. Yeah, it's an ongoing, ongoing yeah. uh, thing as each decade passes. You know, what do you want this body to, to be able to, uh, to take you to, and Great and question. it's it's really really important, um, and also as we know, uh, the world of entrepreneurship and being self employed, you're driving it. So you need energy, you need creative energy, you need to come up right. with ideas you know, fairly quickly on the spot at times, you need to be able to talk to all sorts of people. So you really need to have your sharpness about you. Um, and yeah. and then, um, you know, and then you, you'll uh, really, you know, thrive. So yeah. I'm very uh, passionate about um, obviously people, you know, people thriving and having a nice life, but, but definitely women thriving. I, I feel that they do a lot of full-time jobs mm-hmm. and um, they, they really need to acknowledge that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, uh, thank and you. acknowledge we're getting older, you know, it takes yeah. a little bit longer to get about. <laughs> You've got to thank you. Really thank you for yourself. speaking for us. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, yes. right. Exactly. We're doing it all, you know, like I run my business and I'm trying to get ready for Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know, That's right. and when the kids That's were young, it. it was running around with them on top of that. So yeah, it's just, yeah. it gets to be too crazy. Yeah. You know, we're proud to do it for a while and then it becomes, you just become numb to it. You're not, you don't know who you are anymore, right? This is what I'm trying to figure out now. I mean, I know, but um, it, I, I've immersed myself in just work um, 
just with the, yeah. the latest, you know, like I said, with the uh, empty nesting, but yes. Uh, so yeah. have they gone away to university? No, they've already done that. So they are, uh, they've been out for, well, my daughter just has, she just uh, graduated from grad school and has a nice, wonderful job as a speech path in uh, San Diego. Oh, wonderful, oh, yeah. wonderful. My son has a, a degree in marketing and he's in San Diego as well. And then I have a younger one in, uh, in here in New York. He's a senior in college. So I'm not completely 100% empty nest, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's, okay. yeah, and some days are good and some days are bad. <laughs> we're like, well, these college, helping them with college will be nice when that's over. But uh, yeah, yes. it's always, it's, it's sad when they leave, but glad they're doing well. So, and it was such an absolute mm-hmm. pleasure to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you for having me. It's been yeah. wonderful. Mm. Oh. So, so one last question. I'd love to know what, either what you're reading or a book that you would recommend, or even just a recommendation for yeah. uh, that you think our audience would love to hear that maybe they don't, they wouldn't think of just a, a little yes. tidbit. Oh, that's, that's great. Great, great, great <laughs> I threw a bunch of you there. <laughs> I do have a favorite book and I am a big fan of walking and listening to um, audio books. Or even you can find so much on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but my favorite is uh, The Science of Getting Rich by Will, uh, Wallace Wattles. I think his name is Wallace Wattles. It was written over 100 years ago. It's perhaps even 120 years ago. Okay. And it just talks about the science of abundance, really, um, and what that, which is what he means by 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 being rich and getting rich. And there's a lot of gems in that book. And I have listened to it, read it, read it twice, but listened to it over 30 times when I've been out on my daily walk, when I feel I, the need to drop back into it. And it's quite profound. And it's very much about who you're being. So who you're being gets you what you want. So if we feel a bit cranky and, you know, out of sorts and all that sort of thing, we tend to have not not so grand days. Um, so it is it is very, very much about this um capacity to to use all parts of yourself to get what you want. And uh quite often the smartest in the room or the most qualified is not the most successful. And and it really bleeds into that. And that was something that uh, I had to come to terms with with coming online and, and transferring my my services to an online space where I didn't know any of the technology and all I had to get, do was get through those, you know, understanding how my computer needed to be, com, com, you know, communicated with so I could get to where I wanted to go, which was still the people anyway. So so that was a really, really, yeah. So it's been a great book and I, I really I reckon that wait. I am I just I cannot wait to read it. <laughs> and I, I, I always want to when I hear about a book and I'm excited to ask because I will it will be purchased yeah. within the next 10 minutes. So wonderful, and with wonderful. Amazon, it'll probably be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I know I you can't guys wait. Are very I'm very lucky with that. So I'm excited. Very lucky. I will premise it with there is um there he speaks uh, uh in the language of men because it was written so long ago. Mm-hmm. So it's in he this, he that, he this. Yeah. But you know, I just I can see through that. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> we can see through that. <laughs> <laughs> just we all know who's the boss. And then and then <sighs> the other is of course um God. Yeah. So oh, that really? there's oh. that, you know, some people oh, right. you know, but that but that sits with me just fine as well. So so um, but yeah, we're one really wonderful book. And of course he talks about things uh like um you know the early developments of the, the the train lines and things like that being you know so so that uh you know uh makes the book sound a little bit old fashioned but the premise just is you know really really important it's still really great i love it i can't wait sounds great thank you again so much and just let us know where we can where anybody can, we can reach you at yes, yes <laughs> anybody <I'm> at- everybody <laughs> I'm at lindamorrison.com.au, AU for Australia, but my um, Linda Morrison, all lowercase, so L-A-N-D-A-M-O-R-R-I-S-O-N.com.au, and that's my website, but also Linda Morrison Ageless Body is is across, you know, our YouTubes and, and all the social media platforms and things like that. So it would be my pleasure to 
to um, hear from anybody. And thank you so much, Cara, for your time. Oh, absolutely. Please reach out to her. Look, look her up. And if if nothing else, check out her retreats. My goodness. So hoping to join one of those one of these days, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again for joining in. Thanks, Cara. That soon. Thanks for listening to Authentic Experts with Kara James. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates and we'll see you on the next episode.